Hi, it's Jess with Jess Makes Sense. And in honor of Harry Potter's birthday today, I thought I would do my whole Harry Potter collection. I've been meaning to do this video for a while, but today just feels like the right day to do it. So let's get started. This probably isn't all of it. I know I'm gonna be forgetting some things, but this is the majority of my collection. So let's get started with the first thing. This is my Harry, pa Harry Potter. Harry Potter Lounge Fly Honey Dukes Backpack. It's got the chocolate frog on the side, which is super cute. It says Honey Dukes, and then in the inside is just receipts and junk. But it has an inside zipper, and then the back is a backpack. Now, I used this at Universal a bunch of times, and then I used a Lululemon belt bag, like a fanny pack, and I was able to get on every ride but the Hulk and the new Jurassic Park you can't get on. But I highly suggest if you can doing a fanny pack because to wait to go into the line and then wait in the line and go through all that to put the stuff in the locker takes a long time. And so if you can avoid that, then I would go ahead and avoid it. And there's lockers in the front that you can like keep all your stuff if it's a large family. Maybe I should do a video about tips and tricks for theme parks because I've lived in Florida my whole life. So I've been going since I was like 14, 15 with my friends. So uh, I have like 20 years of experience. So maybe I'll do tips and tricks for theme parks. But I will wear this like around, even though I'm 36, I will wear this like running errands and stuff, but I think I'm gonna skip this for the theme parks for now. But I do love this bag very much. Next is a puzzle that I haven't done that my friend got me for, I think my birthday and it's so cute. I love it so much, but I need to have time to do it. So I will end up doing it eventually. The next, I did have like uh, wizarding boxes for a couple years and then it kind of got repetitive like the same stuff was in it so I just uh ended it but I still kept some of the stuff some of the stuff I gave away to my nephew who loves Harry Potter too and then some of it I donated so this one I kept it's Cornish Pixies and it is so dang cute I couldn't say no I had to keep it and then this shirt, I think that I got this from Hot Topic. Hot Topic is a place to go if you want um, clothes to go to Universal Studios. Even if it's not um, Harry Potter, they have like all kinds, like The Simpsons, all that good stuff. But this one I love so much. This lilac purple color is so pretty. And then the light gray, it's Ollivander's Wand Shop. And sorry that it's wrinkly, it's been folded in my drawer for a long time. So I wore this the first time I got it. Probably it was like July, August, somewhere around there. This is 100% cotton and unfortunately it was so hot that I had to buy another shirt there because 100% cotton in 100% or 100 degree heat with 100% humidity does not go well together. And it was, I was so sweaty and I'm not even a big sweater. Like I can get acclimated to weather and I don't sweat that much. This was an absolute nightmare. So make sure if you get one of these shirts, you're going in like December, January, February. But this is so pretty. And you don't have to wear these to the theme parks. You can wear them anywhere. I did get some uh, collector's edition magazines. There's this one, The Ultimate Guide to Harry Potter, 20 years. I try to keep these like nice and crisp. And then this one is Harry Potter Celebrate the Magic. Follow the journey from then to now, plus how well do you know the wizarding world? This is a uh, special edition, anniversary spotlight collector's edition. And this is the back. And then I have this, which I love, this Harry Potter coloring book. I'm not like big on coloring, but when I'm stressed out, sometimes like I'm just stressed out and I just need to like just do something mindless, then I color in this book. It's really cute actually. It has so much stuff. And then the back of it, I'm gonna keep going. It has like colored pictures. How am I not? See, there, there you go. Oh, I think I have more actually. I'm probably going, you're gonna see like a bunch of different ads to this, ad additions to this video because I keep forgetting stuff that I have. The next is a Hufflepuff pop socket and I am a Hufflepuff. The next is a recent purchase. This is my new Kindle and the 
um, case for it is the Advanced Potion Making Book, and it's so cute, and it is magnet, and it has spells and charms right there, and it, I just love it. It just is so perfect. And then let's go through a couple candles. These are the Village Candles, and I need the lid for this. This is Forbidden Forest. It's not necessarily Harry Potter, but I got it because it's kind of Harry Potter. And then this one is a uh, Village Candle Wizard's Owl, and it's like so cute. I'm, I have this in the big jar too, and I love it so much. I still think you can get these if you like them. This one is super smoky, like Palo Santo smoky. The next uh, I will do, oh, oh, I have these. I think I'm missing one. I think there's another one I have to get, but these are the Art of Harry Potter mini book of graphic design and mini book of creatures and this is the size of the book how dang cute is this oh it's so cute and it just basically is uh pictures of all of the different things of harry potter um this one is all of the different graphic designs so ministry of magic uh magical creatures dark art dark arts defense book of spells all kinds of stuff like that and then this one is the art of just the creatures and this one says $11.99. I think I actually got these on Amazon. Ooh, see how beautiful the pictures are though? Seriously, so pretty. Um, I think I actually got this for less expensive on Amazon. So check out Amazon. And then I'll go through, oh, I have one in the backpack. So I am a minimalist collector. I hope that makes sense to people. I don't like to have like a bunch of stuff everywhere. I like it tucked away neatly, but I like to collect. So it's kind of a hard balance, but I decided the best thing for me to collect that wouldn't like go crazy is pins because they're small. And so every time I go to Universal, I get a new pin. So this one I love so much. This is Hogwarts Castle and look at the boat. Ooh, it look of them going first year. Isn't that so cute? Love this one so much. This one was $11. This is Peppermint Toads. That one was $8.95. Then the next one. I have more. I have another bag and I can't find it anywhere, which is another bad thing about collecting. This one is Chocolate Frogs and then you open it and it's the Chocolate Frog. That one's really cute. Uh, the Chocolate Frog one was $15, so that one was a little bit more. Um, this is the Quibbler. Oh man, this one's so cute. This was $14.95. And you open it. I have a year round pass, like the ultimate pass. And so I think I get 15% off products. So these were, I think I spent a little less on them. That one's really cute. And oh, this is um, Hagrid's Motorbike Adventure pin. And this was $8. I have more. If I do have more, I will uh, post it on my Instagram so you guys can see them. But this is just one of the bags. I don't know where the rest of them went. I'll have to find them. Okay, let's move on to some clothing. I am wearing the sweatshirt that you'll see all around at Universal everywhere. And it is the Gryffindor. Um, they have the Hufflepuff, Slytherin, and Ravenclaw. And it has the patch on the side. It's really cute, really comfortable. And I've washed this a million times and it's still in pretty good shape. The next is this uh, this is from, I should show you my face. Ooh. Uh, this is from Hot Topic and it is so cute. It's like a red velvet. It's got the feather on the side and then on both sides it says Wingardium Leviosa. Hot Topic always has sales and so I don't know exactly how much I paid for this, but a lot of times it'll be like 30% off. They have really good stuff to wear to the park, so I highly suggest it. This I will wear, but not until probably December or January for obvious reasons because it's 100 degrees here. Okay, the next one. This is one of my favorites, and it's my most complimented Harry Potter clothing item I've ever. Like, I wear this, and people are like, oh my goodness, it's magical creatures, and... This is what it looks like. It doesn't scream Harry Potter. So if you like Harry Potter, but you don't want to wear like a shirt that says Harry Potter, this is perfect. And it cuts off at the bottom. This one's from Hot Topic too. And then it does have a hood. The color is gorgeous. 
Uh, it's pilling like a little bit. It's not too bad, honestly, but it does have speckles. That's what you see. That's not all pilling, that's speckles in it. But uh, it's held up pretty well. And this is probably my most worn Harry Potter clothing item besides this Gryffindor sweatshirt, which uh, the reason why I have a Gryffindor sweatshirt, even though I'm a Hufflepuff, is because my husband's a Gryffindor. And so I represent both. <laughs> uh, this is a Hufflepuff shirt. I think this is from Hot Topic 2. And this one's perfect for summer because it's not 100% cotton. It's 50% cotton, 50% polyester. And so this one, I did not sweat in at all. It was perfect with leggings. And... Um, I wore like black Adidas shoes and it was perfect. Perfect outfit for Universal in the summer. I do wear black leggings, the airy offline ones, uh, because I don't want like to wear shorts and it be sticky and the rides are all germy. I'm oh, kind of a germaphobe. So yeah. the next one I haven't worn yet. And this is obviously from Hot Topic. It says $24.90, but I'm sure I get it on sale. Very cute. I like that one. I will wear that one. This one is another one that I've worn so many times because it was perfect for summer and it's high neck and I love things that are high neck and it's Ollivander's wand shop. It's the same um, print as the purple shirt that I have, but this one is made out of cotton and polyester. And so this was so lightweight. It swings on the bottom and it's a little bit longer on the back, so it was perfect with leggings. I hope they still have something similar to this on Hot Topic. If they do, I will link it. I'll take a look at Hot Topic and link whatever I see that might be similar to this, but this is per like the perfect shirt to wear. Love that. The next is, oh, this is the Hufflepuff one. Even though I haven't worn it, it still has the tags on it. These are a little bit pricey. They're $62.95. I think I got 15% off, but they last forever. Like this one I've had for many a years. This one I haven't because I'm like, I have a Gryffindor one already, but then I'm like, yeah, but I'm a Hufflepuff. So I finally got a Hufflepuff one. This is like maybe two years. I got this pre-COVID, so it had to have been two years, at least two years ago. But I haven't worn it yet because I don't want to ruin it. I almost want to just hang it in my room. Where this one, I'm like, I've already worn it so much. It's fine. Okay, that's all for the... Oh, no, no, no. I forgot about this. And a lot of the things that come in the Wizards boxes are really, really nice. And I've kept them. I do have cards that they made too. But they usually have an artist do, do like something for them. This one is... Oh, I can't read the name, but this is from Geek Gear, and it's kind of a hard thing to frame. I might have to get it custom framed, but I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous. It's the Christmas one, and look at the snow globe. I mean, is that not magical? It is so pretty and so well made. I'm going to have to get this custom done because it's not the correct, like it's not any size that would just come from the store. I hope you can see it. Can you tell I totally nerd out for this stuff? Okay, in my defense, I didn't even know about Harry, I knew about Harry Potter, but I didn't watch Harry Potter till I met my husband when I was like 29. And he's like, you've never watched the, the movies? And I'm like, no. And so I watched the movies. I was like, oh my gosh, I've been missing out my whole life. And then I read all the books. I've listened to all the books on um, audiobook. And so that's why I'm like obsessed late in the game. But that's okay because it doesn't matter what age you are. Remember that. You can always love whatever you love. And oh, this one. It's like the most beautiful Hedwig ever. And so these are the two that I kept that I love the most. You do get a lot of stuff. Oh, I think I have a coffee mug too. Oh, I have Harry Potter coffee mugs. Okay, I'll get that too. I'm going to get the books right now and uh, the coffee mugs and anything else I might have missed. And I'll be right back. And for you guys, it'll be in the blink of an eye. Okay, instead of taking this all off my bookshelf, I thought it would be fun just to show you. Um, this I got at like... Uh, Nordstrom Rack, I think, so it was really inexpensive. And these are all wands from the uh, Wizards boxes. I have not gotten an interactive one because my nephew has one or two. He might have two now, and so I just use his. <laughs> and then this is one of them. 
This one I might give to him because I skulls creep me out. It is really cool though. And then this is the Hufflepuff one, which I was so excited to get. I'm literally, this is my favorite one. I'm so stoked. Uh, I think it's the Geek Gear Wizards box. And they make the, like, they, some of their stuff is not great, but most of it is really nice. This one got a chip on it. Ooh, can you see that? Very cute. And I keep all of the cards that tell me about them right here. And so let's just do one. The Huffle, the Badger, Whisker, and Redwood Wood type. And then it's from Unique Wands. Okay, that's that. Then this, the lantern is from one of the boxes. And then obviously Bath Muddy Works White Barn. Uh, salted butterscotch, which I always like to burn when I'm like binge watching the movie like I'm going to do today. And so usually like uh, one, two, and three, I will use that. And then I usually switch over to like Palo Santo because it gets dark in the later ones. And so those are like the two I usually go back and forth with. This is the Hogwarts Library and it's a box set. So if you turn that around, the Tales of Beetle the Bard. Quidditch Through the Ages, and Fantastic Beast, Where to Find Them. Then this one is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. This is like, I want to get another one because I'm having a hard time going through because I don't want to ruin it. This is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone Mina Lima edition, and it is gorgeous. I mean, let me show you really quick. Like every page opens up to something. Look at that. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's like absolutely gorgeous. I can't get enough of it, but I don't want to ruin it. And so I'm so careful when I look at it that I kind of just want to get one that I uh, look through and then one that I just keep for display. But this one I highly recommend. This one was kind of pricey. It was $37.99, but again, it was well worth it. It's a great gift to ask for for your birthday or Christmas or something because I know it is on the pricier side. And then this is just the Harry Potter Illustrated Collection Edition. And I have years one, two, three, and four. And I think the fifth one's getting released soon. Uh, I don't know when it's getting released. If I find the t if I find the date, I'll link it down below, but I know it's going to be soon. And let's go over to the other side. Okay, and this is the box set. This was on sale at Books A Million yesterday, maybe today. I will link it if I can. And I just got the paperback edition because really the illustrated version, the giant ones are the ones that I will collect that are hardback and that I won't get rid of. Um, and these like have been kind of used and abused. So I don't mind that. And then the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook. And then this is really pretty. This is a movie scrapbook of Harry Potter. And let me open it for you. Sorry, this isn't like the best video ever. Like, look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. And it just tells you a little bit about the movie. They're all snippets of the movie. Some of the behind the scenes. And then this is the Wizard's Owl, the Village Candle, the Large Candle. And I think that's it. I'm going to show you my coffee mugs, but I think that's okay. All. My face is back. I'm going to show you a couple mugs. I do want to say I have three Turvis Harry Potter cups that are in the wash right now, but I do love them so much. So if you need a present for a Harry Potter lover or if you're just getting started, they last for so many years. They're so inexpensive compared to how long you'll use them for. And I love them so much. So I highly recommend the Turvis Harry Potter cups. This is the first one. This is the Hufflepuff Harry Potter mug. And this I think I get at TJ Maxx or Marshall. So look everywhere when you're looking for things. But be careful because TJ Maxx had one of the books that I wanted and it ended up being more expensive there and it was kind of messed up than it was on Amazon. So just be careful when you're doing it. This is, I solemnly swear I am up to no good. And I'm not sure where I got this one. I know that this says 
hand wash recommended. Okay, this is the morphing mug. So this one, when it gets hot, it changes into the Marauder, Marauder, I can't say, Marauder's Map. I've never been able to say that. That's embarrassing. But my husband got me this for Christmas. And then this one, I think glows in the dark. And it says Mischief Managed. And this one I've washed in the dishwasher. These say hand wash recommended. I've washed them in the dishwasher. I can't help it. But that's all. That's my full collection. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Sorry this isn't about scents. But I hope you enjoy my collection. See you on the next one. Bye guys.